Hi, I'm Laura Numeroff, and you might recognize my name, but I'm sure you'll recognize the name of my book, If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. I'm here to talk to you about how I came up with the idea, how it got published, and what it's like to be an author and an illustrator. So stay tuned if you want some advice on becoming an author. It was when I was eight. I became a very voracious reader. I loved books and I wanted to be an author and an illustrator because I just got so inspired. My dad was an artist, so there was a lot of art in my house. And I wrote a story about a little horse named Trixie who goes to Macy's and I did some illustrations to go with it. That was my first book. Anytime I wrote a new story, the first people I would call were my parents and I would read to them over the phone my manuscript. And when I wrote, if you give a mouse a cookie, I called my parents and my dad said to me, this is gonna be your best book. So this is what I tell kids when I teach writing and illustrating. So if I write on the board, Jill loves to read. There's no information about Jill. It doesn't even say that she's an actual girl. It doesn't say where she likes to read or what she likes to read. So you could, um, somebody could illustrate Jill in reading in the bathtub or up in a tree or under the covers with a flashlight. The fun part about being an illustrator, I get to decide what Jill looks like and her environment. And um, it's really interesting to give that to one class and just write one sentence like Jill loved to read and see what everybody's interpretation is. At the time I was living in San Francisco and my boyfriend at the time and I would drive to Oregon to visit his parents all the time. It's a beautiful drive, but after a while I started to get a little antsy you know are we there yet and i just thought it would be fun to imagine animals eating food that i like and i pictured an orangutan with you know long arms lifting up a slice of pizza and uh, the cheese gets stringy and he would get tangled up in cheese string and then uh that time period was when the mrs fields came out with the big chocolate chip cookies they were really popular. And I pictured a mouse nibbling on like a Mrs. Fields chocolate chip cookie. But instead of just leaving that and going to another animal and food, for some reason, I just thought, oh, we'd probably want milk. And he'd probably need a napkin. He'd get milk mustache. And then he'd want a broom and a blah, blah, blah. And I kept going. And by the time we got to Oregon, I had the whole story in my head. The most important thing that you can do to be a good author is to read. The more you read, the more you get an idea of writing and what it takes to write something. That's about all I have to um, offer right now. But if you want to um, learn more about me, I have a website, lauranumeroff.com. And I hope you enjoyed my stories and maybe you'll take some of my advice. And who knows, maybe one day I'll be standing in line to have you autograph a book for me. Take care. Bye.